Hi, a lousy day in London at the moment. Cold, cold, very wet. Uh, so, I'm going to, uh, it's a practice run for a demonstration I'm doing for a group next uh, next Thursday. I, and I'm going to do a larger, this is 16 by, or 15 by 11, 16 by 12, 16 by 12 inches. I'm going to do a, a 20 by 16, which is a better size so that people can see. And I'm going to do a uh, well, slightly abstracted impression of the North Cornish coast again. I never tire of, of doing it, but they, 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 they are all different. And this is one, I, uh, one of the ones that I did recently, which you've seen. I'll just bring it closer to the camera. And, oops. And I'm going to do the cliff on the, on the rocks on the other side. And we'll see how we get on. But I want to—I want to practice putting a bit of a beach in. Um, it works well on that demo. So the, my palette, for what it's worth, is—I've uh, got a lot of red. I've just finished up one of my cheap tubes. Whoops. So we've got lemon yellow uh, and, and mid yellow, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, uh, orange, uh, red, uh, lizard. I probably won't use some ultramarine, burnt sienna. Uh, burnt umber, some black, uh, which is just about my favourite colour. I'll just squeeze out a bit more from the tube because I used a lot of black. And this is the Queen of Colours, it has been called by, I think, Monet or Manet. Manet used a lot of black. But it is a lovely, lovely colour to use with uh, food for darks, for, for not darks, but for, oh dear. I've smeared it on my face. Right, well that'll have to do. Okay, so I'm going to spray the board with a bit of uh, water just to lubricate things because it's got quite a, a decent texture on it. I primed it earlier with the PVA glue and, and I tapped it with a cloth and got a nice, nice surface on it. So I've got my, my inch varnish brushes. So I'll, I'll, I'll put in where the rock's going to go, so get a nice bit of red in there, nice warm. And I'll put a bit of, bit of rock in down here, just as a balance. Come down here. For and then we'll just a little bit of a rock out there. Okay, so a bit burnt sienna. Let's get that in. Something like that. And I'll put some some yellow or grass, some stuff like that. Um, so the beach is going to go over there, so let's just, just put it in a bit of bit of burnt umber, a bit of white, a bit of ochre, okay so so that'll do for for that at the moment. And in the, the flat water here I can show some reflections of of those rocks so let's just get a bit of bit of colour in on here I love the black it, it um, gives a great green with the lemon yellow oh, I'll just clean my brush and put a, I'm going to put a cloth uh, a glove on my on my hand. Right, that's it. There we are. Just final gloves just to keep the hands dry. Um got my cloth. Right, now a bit of sky, so 
let's use a bit of bit of black, bit of blue, bit of white, a lot of uh, blue. And I'll uh, spray it again. My ultimate is just a little bit to uh, a little bit dry, so I'm going to just squeeze some of that out in a minute. Just cover the board here, really. Oops, didn't see that. But that's okay. Bit of bit of orange, bit of ochre, bit of red. I don't want to make a portrait of this guy. I just want it in, and I want it light where it's going to go. over these rocks there. So that's where we want the counter change. And we can uh, bit of red in there. Okay, let's uh, go a bit of blue in. And we can let that dry off a bit and then we can go over it. Go back and put some C in. Now I'm going to put a horizon. A good horizon is uh, what was viridian. Uh, no, let's let's keep it, keep the greens out of it. Let's put a bit of bit of blue, bit of uh, touch of yellow, bit of blue, bit of bit of red, and we'll uh, a little bit higher than that. Yeah, let's go up here a bit. Okay, that'll do. This will be soft when I finish it. Okay. Right, that's about halfway, isn't it? Is it probably? But I'm going to bring the uh, crashing waves up here, so it's not going to. Be a, cutting the picture in half. I will use some some um, viridian. I like the viridian in the uh, mixed with the ultramarine for the shadow parts of the waves. Put a little bit out. I think a bit of ultramarine. That'll do. Well, I'm using the uh, mostly the cheap paints, the the, the Wilco ones. So let's just get some of that in, in here. Uh, Okay, we can swirl some some water around here. Okay, let's let's do a bit of bit on the rocks here. So a bit of yellow, a bit of. Bit of orange in there, I think. I don't suppose this is going to dry very quickly to today. Right, we'll get a bit of a rocky colour. more 
light. A bit more light than that. Doing all right. All right, clean the brush and we'll develop these rocks here before we do the water. That's Bit of shape on there. Alright, oh, so it's good he's getting some uh, grass and stuff coming down this slope here. Let's do a bit of water now. Uh, I'll put a little bit of colour in it, a bit of, bit of red, a bit of ochre. And this is a good bit. Just put a little bit of yellow ochre and orange in, in there just to warm. Let's get that over there. Warm it up a little bit. Okay, now let's put in some waves along here. Now I'm, I'm guessing all this is coming up here, okay, in there. Sorry, I'm silent, but, but I'm sort of thinking out sort of loud. There we go, what does it look like on there? It looks okay. coming around there and a bit, bit of shadowy colour, blue, 
more blue in, in my mix with the uh, with the viridian. That's a bit darker. Bit of light in that sky now. I'm going to go back over that colour that I had there the red, bit of orange, bit of white, ochre. It's just I've got some nice colours in there. Bit of light further down there. I made because I've got a lump of uh, lump of uh, prime uh, of the primer, the texture showing through. Right, let's just mix a bit of grey there now. Now I, I want, I think I want the sky just a little bit nicer down the bottom there. No. Just to kind of change against against that that horizon there. Right now we'll do a bit more on the the rocks now. The abstract bit here, just bits of red. Warm things up a little bit. Right, I want to get, this, get that sort of counter change in here with these, these rocks. And dark on the other side. Just get some light yellow on there. Okay. Really dry as you can you can get your your dry brush over.
probably want some some of this coming up here. Freaking up. Then some yellow ochre. Dry brushed the sand in there. Put in some dark ish reflection. You know, all my paintings are sort of made up. My head's in the way. Get some more of that yellow ochre and a bit of umber in here. I'll just put a bit of more rocky colour in there and here. A bit of dark in the shadow behind. Right, okay, so that seems to be that there's unpleasant shape there and I'm not happy about that really. Uh, we've got to change that so change it with a bit of ochre. that any better? Yeah that's a little bit better. much more can do. There's a bit of sorting out there. Let's uh, get a bit of uh, water coming around there. And Put a bit of wet on there. Right, I think that's that's about it. Uh, let's just get some brilliant light over this. Soften around here. water coming over. Is that improving? The water's just sort of cascading over. Over there. And 
we go back with a bit of Viridian and a bit of Ultramarine, a bit of white. Now I can put some white back in that other wave now. Just put a bit of Put it dark back in here. Right, well that, that seems to be, I'll put it in a mount. We'll have a little look at it. Quite like the sky. I have a frame. Uh, just bear with me for a few seconds. I'll just have to uh, wet the edges of this, I think, because it's just a little bit, bit wet around there. So let's just come down there. Right, okay, that'll do. Talk among yourselves. Just hold it in the back, hold it in the frame with a piece of a bit of, of the masking tape so it doesn't fall out. Right, here we go. That's it. Right, so there we are. And for another another rocky rocky coastal scene. Let's come round. Let's wind the camera up a little bit. Right now I can see it. Right there we are. So this is a sort of a rehearsal for for next week. I I don't want to go in cold and make it up with in front of artists. Some of them are quite a bit better than me. It's a group run by an old friend. Fiona Hooper. You can check her out on Facebook and Google. Have a go with that. There's a little bit of a hole in the sky there. I'm going to change that. We put a copy like this. Let's just that do. Uh, I think we could have done a little bit better there. Let's just just drag drag a bit of bit of white or a bit of dry brush over that bit, I think that could be a little bit better. Uh, put a bit of another rock, I think. Okay, well that, that that I'm quite happy with that. Uh, we'll uh, I'll upload it and you can let me know what you think of it. I, st I still think this looks just a little bit a little bit not good. Uh, so maybe a bit of bit of red in there just to just change that shape a little bit. It just looks a bit not very good. Let's reduce it a little bit. Um, but I don't, I don't think it's, it's too bad. It's, it's just not pleasing me eye.
No, I'm, I'm going to let it go. That, that's as good as it's going to be. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. I'll leave the uh, camera on a little bit longer. So if I do a, a speeded up version of this, it, it will uh, stay on, on on the video a bit longer, rather than um, load a, a photograph still of it. Okay, bye for now.